Spoilers for the latest episode of Designated Survivor lie ahead. We kind of knew that it was coming, but it didn't make it any less of a shock. The First Lady is gone. In last night's December 13th episode, Alex Kirkman, Natasha McElhone, was killed off in a horrific car accident, leaving President Kirkman alone in the White House. And although Tom looked just as devastated as we are about the loss of his wife, designated Survivor's showrunner Keith Eisner has promised that it's not the end for the president. Talking to TV Guide about what's next for President Kirkman, Eisner explained what kind of repercussions being a widower in the White House and being a bachelor will have, that will have personal and professional repercussions for the remainder of the season he said, and it's also Terra Nova dramatically, we haven't seen this in a television show. A president who is essentially by himself, in the isolation of being a single parent and of having to figure out what to do professionally and personally without his partner. That is a very interesting and exciting dramatic area for us to go into too. Quote, adding that Kiefer Sutherland's Kirkman will be isolated. Eisner continued. We'll see how that has ramifications in both the personal and political arenas. Quote, but the story of Alex's death doesn't end there. Folks, the series boss also teased that her exit might not have been an accident. Intriguing stuff. That's something I won't reveal. He said, we'll wait till we get back before figuring out exactly what happened and why. Quote, designated Survivor airs on ABC in the U.S while Netflix streams the show in the UK. One up to the minute entertainment news and features. Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our Digital Spy Twitter account. And you're all set.